First, when we developed uh, PIF, uh, we sought to take the best of uh, business improvement tools that had been used uh, in other jurisdictions in the public sector, like the United Kingdom, and also uh, business improvement tools uh, like Bordrich that had been developed in, in the private sector uh, environment. To, so we've tried to meld the, the best of approaches from globally, public and private sector uh, approaches, and uh, adapt that to the New Zealand context. PIF differs mainly from other tools because we're very future focused and we're focused on the best you can be. So we're not particularly focused on how you've gone over the last few years or what your current uh, performance is against some external benchmark. The benchmark is the best you can be, the most value you can add for New Zealand. So if you're looking at a place like Ministry for Primary Industries, what can you do to help double exports from primary industries by 2025? Any organisation to be really high, highly performing needs to use a range of business improvement tools. Uh, so for example, a number of organisations use continuous improvement tools like Lean or Six Sigma. Those sit very well in the context of an overall suite of tools. Uh, PIF looks at the overall performance of the organisation and tries to look quite holistically about all the dimensions of performance uh, that matter from uh, the perspective of the organisation as a whole and how it fits into the wider state services. Uh, other business improvement tools are able to look at how individual business units work, how perhaps uh, individual processes within a department uh, work, uh, and so it rounds out the overall picture. So but PIF really tries to highlight those critical and overall themes around an organisation's fitness for purpose.